Good afternoon and welcome to this focus day provided by Eurex looking at digital assets and crypto derivatives. My name is Will Mitting. I'm the founder of Acuity. Um, I want to begin quickly with some housekeeping notes, uh, notes uh, looking at some some best practice and rules today as uh, so there's a Chatham House, uh, this webcast, so please don't quote or reference the speakers without their written permission. Um, we do welcome questions from the audience. Please post them on the our control panel in your app. Uh, the webcast is being recorded and will be made available to you after the presentations are finished. Um, please close browsers or applications to optimize your experience. And finally, for mobile phone app viewers, please note that you can change from slide to video by swiping left or right. It's only 12 years since the Bitcoin was first announced to the world, and since then thousands of digital assets have developed and a truly new asset class has emerged. And more importantly, perhaps, the distributed ledger technology underlying Bitcoin is beginning to be used on processes and workflows outside the crypto world, promising to change everything from post-trade reconciliation to the very market structure of trading. These are truly fascinating times for digital assets and digital securities, and Eurex has put together a great lineup of panels and speakers. Coming up, we have a discussion on DLT and capital markets, institutional adoption of crypto trading, and a look at where innovation is today. In addition, we have one-on-one -on -one chats with Coinbase, Cumberland, and a keynote address from Chris Giancarlo, former chair of the CFTC, and a pioneer of crypto regulation. We begin, however, with an introduction from Thomas Book, a member of the executive board at Deutsche Börse. Uh, Thomas, over to you. So on your access focus day for digital assets and crypto derivatives. As you said, really a fascinating topic, yet it feels wrong, I think, before diving into this and go back to normal business without mentioning briefly and saying a few words on the current situation in Ukraine. It is only two hour flight away from here, a, ter a terrible war. And this war is not only about Ukraine, it is a war that affects us all. It is an attack on democracy and freedom and a humanitarian tragedy. Nations around the globe have imposed sanctions, including the widespread isolation of Russia in the global financial markets. We support this the best way we can. We fight back with weapons of finance that hopefully will help end this dreadful war. And for these weapons to be as effective as possible, we need the right tools and the right rules in place. Yes. Tools and rules for crypto and digital assets are also major topics at our event today. So let me focus on um, what we are discussing today. Being in this industry for more than 20 years, actually 25, I have witnessed technology being a main driver for the evolution of financial markets. Eurex and Deutsche Börse have embraced technology innovation. It is part of our DNA. I saw in the 90s electronic trading disrupt the traditional floor exchanges and creating unprecedented access and growth opportunity. It was the foundation of Eurex. Today, we are discussing the potential of distributed ledger technology and the full digitization and decentralization of financial markets. I'm sure it will open up an equal opportunity in operational efficiency and growth. The potential of the DLT is demonstrated by the emergence of a new asset class, crypto assets. And I look at Bitcoin as just one application, a use case for a new technology that combines DLT and cloud and that holds much more in store for the future. Today, it feels like we can witness a technology disruption in slow motion. Bitcoin and their cousin tokens are developing from skeptically watched exotics to become mainstream in financial markets. Digital assets are here to stay. They will change the way we trade and invest. On that, I guess we all agree, but how? How do we bring together exchange trading as we know it, grown and developed over decades, strictly regulated, centrally cleared, proven and trusted, with a system whose strength lies precisely in its decentralization? How will digital assets change the way we invest? An asset class with few rules yet, a huge and growing universe of all kinds of tokens, highly fragmented, without central clearing where everything is in flux. 
So how do these worlds converge? And how do we finally end up with the best of both worlds? No easy task, but we are getting there. In fact, we already have reached some steps on the way to make crypto assets tradable and investable and to embrace DLT for institutional users on a larger scale. But there is still a long way to go and an immense potential untapped. We as Deutsche Börse fully embrace this technology and we want to be a driver of change and innovation like we always were. We want to shape the combination of the best of both worlds. Our answer? We are building an independent, transparent and highly scalable ecosystem for digital assets under European regulation. And we are very proud that we have marked a number of milestones on this journey past year. Let me give you an update on where we stand as Deutsche Börse Group and what we have to offer. First, as you know, we already enable clients to access crypto assets through our established, reliable and trusted systems. It made us the European market leader for crypto ETNs with 40 products from nine providers. Building on this success, we launched the first regulated market in Bitcoin regulated derivatives in Europe last year. And we do see demand from institutional market participants to invest directly in digital assets growing. They are looking for a trustworthy partner. Second, last year, Crypto Finance, a leading European provider for trading and storing crypto assets based in Switzerland, has joined Deutsche Börse Group. Crypto Finance will be a nucleus for building an ecosystem for digital assets under European regulation by Deutsche Börse. And third, we have launched D7, a digital infrastructure for financial institutions to issue, hold and trade financial instruments and connect new decentral networks with existing central ones. This and other important infrastructure initiatives such as HQLAX or our tokenization marketplace 360X will show the potential of a decentral and fully digitized process flow. This all happened only in 21 and we are excited to continue this journey together with you in 22. There is more to come. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a whole new financial market ecosystem out there, full of technological evolution and innovation developing with lightning speed. And regulation is the main catalyst for maturing this new world and making it mainstream finance. It is important that regulation takes into account the specific challenges but also opportunities that digital assets bring with them. We need to protect investors. We need to create a level playing field based on same business, same rules, same risk principle. And we must not hinder innovation at the same time. In the recent past, we have already seen regulations related to digital assets in several national jurisdictions, such as Germany, Switzerland and Luxembourg. Now, on the EU level, regulations are in the making. And it is my firm belief that Europe should take an opportunity to lead the way globally. The EU proposal on markets in crypto assets regulation, known as MiCA, takes important first steps in this direction to include such universal principles and safeguards as KYC and investor protection. This framework must be introduced as soon as possible because it will lay the foundation for sustainable growth of this asset class. Over time, it can be further developed in a technologically neutral manner so that the regulatory framework can evolve in a balanced, innovation-friendly, but secure way. Deutsche Börse is and will be the infrastructure provider that stands for trust. We connect market participants in a fair, non-discriminatory, efficient and secure way in a regulated environment. Not only in a centralized setup, but also in a context that may be more decentralized in the future or a combination of both, for instance, acting as trusted third party is our role. Systems centralized or decentralized can only work properly when there is trust in them, trust in their stability and reliability based on safe, regulatory compliant neutral and stable operations. Ladies and gentlemen, our industry is on the move like never before. 
and we better are ahead of it and leading it. Good solutions are only created together with our clients, with our partners and with regulators. And that is why we are very pleased to see so much expertise here today. Expressly, I would like to thank all the speakers and also the sponsors. Thanks a lot for sharing the expertise and knowledge with us here today. I am very curious what this event will hold. I'm sure it will give us a lot of food for thought. I wish you all an insightful time here at Eurex's Focus Day. With that, I hand over back to Will.